another good meal hamburger mashed potatoes and peas i'll show y'all how i do it i boil my water then i make my mashed potatoes then i put my peas in there and my hamburger is in my cooker the reason i keep that glass top on it because this is like 80 20 hamburger it's the only thing the store up in logan had and the other night I cooked it and I had grease from one end of my camper to the other. I dug through my closet and I found my top so now I'm good to go and then I'll, I'll go outside. I won't even take the hamburger out of my camper. I'll go outside and do that. That's the way uh, grease don't pop all over my camper because it's something else when you got to clean up grease. I had it all over my cabinets up there. I had it everywhere. It was a, it was a pain in the butt to say the least but anyway. Have a good dinner tonight and kick back and watch some shows. Then I might get up with Jamie and have a few sodas with him and just enjoy the evening with good company. Okay, there you go, the finished product. My plate's got macaroni, peas, and hamburgers, and looky here. You think he's waiting on that food to cool down so he can get it? Look at that tail just going. Blue man, you hungry? Uh, you hungry? You want some din din? Huh? I see. Daddy, see that little tail going? Yeah. Okay, Daddy, put the plate down, let you get it. Yeah. He think about getting up on the counter, but that spatula's in his way, so I usually put it down there next to his water bowl, but you're a hungry boy, ain't you? Say, hi, Daddy. Say, give me my food, Daddy. Give me my food. Is that hungry? Or is that you crying? Is that my little man crying? Ooh. Okay, I got my dinner pulled for tomorrow. Go have barbecue pork chops. I pull my crock pot out in the crock pot about 12 o'clock. I'll I let them thaw it out on the counter at night, and then when I go to bed, I'll stick them in the refrigerator. When I get up about 12 o'clock, I'll plug my uh, crock pot in, pour some barbecue sauce on them, and we'll be eating good tomorrow night. Yep, me and little man. Okay, I'm too lazy to set my tripod up, so I'm going to have to show this in steps. Okay, I put my barbecue sauce in there. Next thing I'm going to do is drop the pork chops in there. Then I take my pork here and stir it all around. Then I plug it in right there, and I do run off the pole power because if I use my uh, power pack, it'll drain the power pack. So let me throw that in there and goose them around. I'll show you, and then we'll take it from there. Okay, most of the time I, I do bonus pork chops, and I usually freeze them in packs of threes, but all I do is just keep on moving the pork chops around, get the barbecue sauce on them real good, get two for me, and little man gets one, and believe it or not, he can eat the whole pork chop. I mean, he can eat that whole complete pork chop right there. And basically, you just move them all around in the, in the sauce like that, you know. Pretty simple to do. See how they're all covered in barbecue sauce? And then from there, all I gotta do is put the pot on, just like that. Shoot, like that. I had it kicked sideways so y'all could see it. And I just take my plug right here. And I always use this uh, circuit breaker plug, so, cause I have, I, bet I have burned the wiring up in my camper before. So whenever I'm using something like that, I just um, push it in like that, come back over here, cut it on low, get the thing to stay straight up, put the top on. I'm going to put it on high because I'm actually doing this at 1 o'clock, and I usually do it at 12, so I put it on a high, and I'll come back in about two hours and cut it down to slow, but that's how we do it. And I'll show you what our dinner looks like tonight when we fix it all up. I'm probably going to have lima beans, my favorite bean, mashed potatoes, pork chops. Little man have a pork chop. He loves pork chops, and that'll be our dinner. So later on tonight, I'll share it with you and show you what it looks like. It looks like a good dinner, don't it? I do my mashed potatoes in my um, skillet, and I run it off the uh, power pack. And there you go. There are pork chops. Don't they look good? Well, me and little man be eating good tonight. Well, let me go ahead and finish cooking dinner, and I think we're going to pack out tomorrow, so I'll give you all a quick view of what goes on when we pack out. So now I'm going to kick back and enjoy my dinner. Have a good one. There you go, the finished product. That's my plate right there before I put my pepper on it. There's the little man's plate. The good thing about when you use a crock pot like that, it's easy to clean up, believe it or not. 
but uh, and we use vinegar to clean up after we pour the juice in the in the trash. And uh, it's real moist, real soft. And the real man wait for his dinner to cool down. He doesn't have real good teeth, so I have to really cut his food up. And plus, he won't eat it if it's hot. But here he comes. 